world and, right now. And we should point out here, by the way, thank you, Sabri. We should point out here that uh, the president is incorrect in a lot of his statements uh, about uh, Amazon and the Postal Service and specifically saying that Amazon is ripping off the Postal Service and costing them money. And it turns out the Postal Service went into this arrangement with the world's biggest retailer, one of them anyway, uh, with its eyes wide open. Marketplace's Rima Crace has that story. Mark Chardy, who's 51, has been delivering mail in New Jersey since his 20s. Back then, he says it was almost all first-class mail, bills, wedding invites. Now, the packages hurt his back. You know, like 50, 70-pound bag. Some of them you can't even lift. Many of them branded with that very familiar logo. Orders of dog food, water bottles, diapers. Some people, that's all they do is Amazon. Amazon, that's all they do. All that online ordering, it's helping the Postal Service see double-digit increases in revenue. Over the last 11 years, the Postal Service has lost billions thanks to a decline in paper mail and costs for employee benefits and pensions, says Satish Jendel of the consultancy firm Ship Matrix. If it wasn't for Amazon giving it all the volume it does, post office losses would be even greater. For that reason, Jendel says Trump is wrong. Package delivery from Amazon is a bright spot for the service. But Kevin Kosar of R Street Institute says it's not that simple. We just don't know what they're paying, and we certainly don't know if it ultimately plays out to be profitable for the Postal Service or not. Kosar says Trump has no evidence that Amazon is scamming the system. He says when the Postal Service works with a company... It doesn't just cut a deal in the back of some smoke-filled room. Instead, it's a huge amount of paperwork. Then that paperwork gets examined by the Postal Regulatory Commission to make sure that it comports with law. Kosar says that paperwork is not even subject to the public via the Freedom of Information Act. And he says because of that, we really don't know if Amazon or any other retailer is getting a sweetheart deal on shipping. I'm Rima Kreese for Marketplace. So to sum it all up, you take a looming trade war, you roll in the president of the United States, take an aim at one of the economy's biggest companies.